Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15107, okay? It says, if the rod of negligible mass is subjected to a coupled moment of m equal to 30 t square newton times meter and the engine of the car supplies a traction force of f equals to 15 t in newtons to the wheels, where t is in seconds, determine the speed of the car at the instant t equals to 5 seconds. The car starts from rest. The total mass of the car and rider is 150 kilograms. Neglect the size of the car. All right. So what we see in here is that we have this little car is going around at this moment that is 30t uh, square newtons times meter. We have a distance, total distance of four meters, and we also have a traction force of 15t newtons. Okay. So the question that we're asked is what is the velocity? after five seconds of this moment and this force being applied to the car, okay? So the first thing I like to do just in this problem is like, oh, these guys just go ahead and write out my uh, my givens, not assumptions. So we have givens that my moment is equal to 30 T squared, and this is in Newton's times meter. I'm also given that the tractional force is equal to 15 T and this is in newtons. We're given that the time that we're interested or evaluating in here, I'm going to call it T2, is equal to 5 seconds. We're given that the car starts from rest, so I'm going to write down that over here, just like in another color, starts from rest, just for like informational purposes. And the last thing is that the mass of this car and the rider combined is equal to 150 kilograms, okay? So we're in chapter 15 and we're talking about angular moment. So of course we're going to utilize the angular moment and impulse, angular impulse, which is this equation over here, 1521, where we have that angular moment plus the impulse has to be equal to the angular moment um, afterwards, meaning the second state. Okay, for the angular moment, so simplify for each angular moment is the distance times the mass times the velocity, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this big equation and we're going to start solving it. So the first thing I have is the angular moment at the beginning and that happens when t is equal to zero. Well, what happens is that we start from rest and if we look, our equation has velocity, meaning that the velocity when we start from rest is equal to zero, okay? So our first angular moment is equal to zero. Then we have plus, and we need to take into account the angular impulse, which is going to be the summatory of all the integrals from T1 to T2 of the moments, okay? So we have a moment in here, described by, uh, by the figure. We have, we will have then integral from time one, which is zero, to time two, the time that we're interested on, five seconds. And we're taking the integral of the moment, which is 30 t squared dt. And then we have plus, do we have another moment? We will initially think that no, we don't. But if we go back to the statics, we have that this force times this distance will create a moment around this, um, let's call it this z-axis, okay? So what we are going to say is like, all right, we have another moment from zero all the way to five of the force times the distance. Well, what is the distance? Well, the distance never changed. It's a constant and it's equal to four. So we're going to put four dt, okay? So I believe those are the only two moments that we have in this problem, this moment and the moment that this force is creating. Therefore, we're done with that part of the angular impulse. We have that this is going to be equal to then. And then we have the angular momentum um, after our five seconds, right? So the angular momentum after our five seconds, well, we're going to utilize this equation, dmv. So the distance, well, the distance is four meters. The mass is equal to 150. And the velocity is what we're trying to find. So I'm going to state it as b for velocity, okay? So... I'm going to plug this into my calculator, all my left side. I'm going to plug it into my calculator. And surprisingly, 
is just gonna give me a total of 2000, pretty nice number. And if I multiply 150 times four, will give me a total of 600 times my velocity. Finally, if I solve for the velocity and I put it into my calculator, it will give me a total of 3.33 meters per second. And this should be our answer for this problem. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.